Ladies and gentlemen, Miguna Miguna is now uh, attacking William Samayoi Ruto, the president, indirectly, not directly, indirectly. Miguna has now uh, began, you know, disrespecting the president. The question is, what will he be taken back? Because why am I saying that Miguna is attacking the president? Um, say uh, Amin Mohamed, the DCI boss, just appointed, you know, Said Kiprotich Mohamed as the new DCI head of operations, and Miguna is not happy about it. So, guys, before we go on, okay, uh, let me take this time, of course, and welcome you you now back to the channel. And my hope is that you are doing well, and this video finds you in good health. So, I, I, I quote Said, uh, Said Mohamed, um, who was the head of Nairobi Area Head of Operations, was yesterday named the new DCI Head of Operations. Yeah, he was named the new DCI Head of Operation. And Miguna is not happy about it. Why is Miguna not happy about Said, you know, Kipro Teach Mohammed appointment? Um, Miguna is alleging that Said, Said Mohammed disrespected him and actually let me read for you and of course as I read it you will see it on your screen the Miguna I quote Said Kiprotech is the flying squad goon <laughs> who destroyed my house with military explosives abducted detained and tortured me the high court convicted him of contempt why was Kiprotech being promoted when some members of his killer squad have been charged. Now, that's what Miguna has said. Uh, he said that Said, Said Mohamed Mo Mo was the one who headed the operation that, of course, uh, you know, uh, made him deported. Remember, Miguna was attacked in 2017 as soon as he, you know, he sworn in, you know, Raila Amolo Odinga. He was attacked, okay? Actually, there were explosives, the, his house was bombed. Because he refused to open the door, so the door was, you know, uh, destroyed. And Said Mohammed Mukiprotich was the one who headed the operation. That's when, you know, Miguna was, you know, of course, bungled out, and, uh, and uh, he was taken to a unknown location, you know, to a forest. I don't know. He was tortured, you know, beaten. Um, of course, injected with some, you know, some sub substances. And Miguna said that he's the one who, you know, directed the operation. So. Why am I dragging Ruto's name here? You know, the truth of the matter is that uh, Miguna knows very well that one of the people who, of course, engineered his deportation is William Samoy Ruto. Yeah, one of the people that, you know, um, made Miguna deported was Ruto. Why? Because Miguna was deported at the time where Raila was fighting Uru Kenyatta. Actually, the handshake was not even, <laughs> there, was no, there, was no, there, was, there was no even handshake at the, at the moment. At that, at that time, so Ruto and Uru were together. Okay, they were good friends, and actually, they they are the ones who came up with the, the idea of you know, uh, deporting Miguna, attacking Miguna, of course, deporting him to Canada. That's the fact, and of course, why is okay? Why, if, if that's the case, why was Raila, you know, why is Miguna, you know, beat as Raila Moldinga? Miguna is bitter with Raila all because when he was deported, then when the High Court, you know, um, gave out order to, you know, for Miguna to come back, when Miguna came back, he was not allowed to enter the country and actually he was returned. Remember the drama. And of course, this is why Miguna is bitter with Raila Moldinga because Raila did not make, you know, proper attempt to, to save him. That's what he's been saying. Because he's been saying that Raila had the powers. Because at the time that he, that he came back to the country and, you know, the government refused you know, to allow him, Raila was already Uru's friend because they, they, were, they had already, you know, have the, the handshake. They have already had the handshake. So, he believed that Raila was in a capacity to um, to save him. But Raila did not do so. That's, of course, the that, that was the, the, the beginning of you know, his heart rate towards Salam Rodinga. So, that aside, Miguna Miguna is now 
you know, he, he would like to attack Ruto, but he cannot do it directly because Ruto is the one who, who brought him back. Because should he do it directly, then Ruto will <laughs> deport him again. But he wishes to attack Ruto, but he can't do it directly. So the only thing he can do is to attack, you know, people like the DCI boss. Because he's saying that, why is it that Said Muhammad was allowed, you no, know, has been you no know, promoted as the DCI head of operation when he is supposed to be routing behind the bars? Because uh, it's a, it's the fact that Said Kiprotich uh, Muhammad is Ruto's you know friend. And I think Ruto is the one who must have you know in you know must have minded his his appointment. But Miguna is not happy with it. But he cannot just show it directly. He is afraid of Ruto. Of course, you cannot attack Ruto. That because he's the one who brought you to the country. So when you, when you know, if you decide to attack him, of course, <gasps> sorry, you should be ready to go back to Canada. And of course, you wouldn't want to go back to Canada. He wants to remain in Kenya because he's a, he's a Kenyan. So that's what I'm saying. Miguna has begun attacking uh, Ruto. And then I know him, it will, it will reach a time whereby he will have to attack Ruto directly. And of course, this will, you know, <laughs> you will have to be prepared to go back to Canada. Because Ruto has got all the powers to take him back to Canada. That's the other reality. And uh, why is not Miguna focusing on Ruto? You know, the truth of the matter is that uh, Miguna knew that, you know, when he you know, comes back to Kenya, he will, of course, host, host Raila Mordinga from Nyanza leadership. He knew very well that <laughs> Luos were going to accept him. But that has not been the case. Remember uh, last week, Miguna went to, to, to Kisumu and actually he was hoping that Kisumu people would welcome him. But what happened? He was warned. In fact, two days before, he was told, should you come here with your stupidity, we will beat you. Of course, this, you know, this made him fear. Okay? And actually he knew that, okay, these people <laughs> are still behind Raila Moldinga. And there's no way whatsoever I can, you know, uh, you know take Raila Moldinga's position in Nyanza, which is a true. You cannot take it overnight. Raila has invested in Nyanza for like over 30 years. So you can't just do it all because you are deported. No, you need to <laughs> you need to invest in it. That's the reality. So Miguna has seen that his mission of you know dismantling Raila Moldinga in Nyanza is not is you know is is mission impossible. So what can he do? Maybe he wants to to shift his energy towards Ruto or to focus on attacking the government or Ruto. And of course, this will make him deported. Yeah, that is reality. If, if at all he decides to attack Ruto, then I think he should be prepared to go back to Canada. That is, that is the truth. So guys, um, that's, what, that's, what, that's what has happened. And of course, if you like this analysis, take your time, of course, subscribe. And of course, let's be meeting here. You know, whenever you have this hot, you know, amazing political updates. And of course, you know, by subscribing, by liking the, liking the, the video, you will be making this video rich a bigger audience and those few remarks thank you guys and i'm hoping to see you soon in the next video thank